Hi everyone, I'm starting today in the farm office. If you could give this video a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. It's taken a lot of work to get this Toyota Hilux out here for you guys. And I'd just like to say today's video was a socially distanced video. So, so Joanne and I from Toyota SLM East Anglia kept our distance. The Toyota was sanitized when I got in and both when I got out of the Toyota today. So we kept our distance, keeping to the restrictions. And the reason why I have to try it now is that if I want to purchase the Toyota, the delivery date would be six months later on this year. So I've got to make up my decision now uh, if I'm able to get one uh, for this year, if I'm able to get a build slot on one. So that's why I have to be organized and I have to be planned with the Hilux. Enjoy today's video. The mighty Hilux, soldiers on, on the road here. It's, it's smooth, it's chilled out, it's a nice drive. So leave a comment in the comment section down below. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I've got a treat which I uh, had said to you guys about the other day. So here it is. It's the new Toyota Hilux uh, 2021 which I'm looking at purchasing for later on this year. So here she is. So it's a Toyota Hilux brought here today from uh, Norwich SLM Toyota. And this is the Invincible X. So it's the top of the range Toyota Hilux. It's got the 2.8 liter engine. It's got 500 Newton meters of torque, which means we can tow trailers with it with this thing, which is gonna be fantastic because I had some plans later on in, in the year for towing the 135 around and also as well, some other classic tractors and machinery. So it would be fantastic for pulling machinery around, getting around the farm and doing all of the jobs, which I've got to do. And this color is in the black and probably if I was to buy one if I was to go for this I would go for the black I was talking earlier about about the bronze version they do a Toyota in the bronze uh, but I would have the black version and I would have the roll bar on the back and I think that would look really good and just on the back here you can see this is what you go into so so I can put things in the back here it's got the uh, plastic hard casing liner which means it's protective I'll be able to put all my bits and bobs in here and then it's also got the rollover to shut whatever it is I've got in there and this is the cab, so just in here. It's got leather seats, it's automatic. We've got the navigation system here, and this being the premium version, it's got the JBL sound system. And I like to be listening to some good songs whilst I'm on the go, so that would be absolutely fantastic. And just sitting in here, it does feel like a really quite premium environment, especially for a pickup truck. So I'm really looking forward to just having a test drive of this um, before we make a decision. And then we've got the alloy wheels, which are coated in a, an anodized black, which I think is quite cool. Good for the mud. A lot of you guys have said to me to go for the black because it's quite a rugged look and it works well with, the, with mud on the farm. Um, yeah, another, another option, of course, was the bronze or the silk. They do a silver as well, all those red, which is quite nice. And meanwhile, the up is just over there um, <laughs> looking, you know, a bit, a bit envious of the pickup truck. But it is something a bit more practical and it is something which I need. So we'll just take it out for a drive and see how she performs on the farm. Great, so I've got a, an electric seat, which is quite nice. It's, there's just two buttons down there, which keeps it nice and simple. And then just down here, there's a start engine button. So if we press that, start up the Hilux, we want to select drive, take our handbrake off, press continue on the screen, and we're away. Seeing a bit up. <laughs> okay, so I just want to see what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm working on the farm and when I'm going from field to field and one thing I can tell you already is it does feel solid in here it feels well made we've got a sti leather stitch steering wheel and we've got analog dials which I quite like so if we just go right up this hill here and we're currently in eco mode so we're in D range so we're using minimal amount of fuel and we can change to sport mode if you want to be into sports but generally I will just keep it in the standard mode the 2.8 litre engine gives around about an average of, of 30 miles per gallon which isn't actually too bad because comparing the Hilux with other vehicles I use one great thing about this truck for me is that it's a commercial vehicle so that means that as a farmer I can get the VAT back on when I purchase it and also when I'm using it on the farm I can claim the VAT back on the fuel I use in it and I can also claim the VAT, the VAT back on the parts and the, and the servicing which is really important for me um, because every, you know, every penny counts really and you see this is something which you know is really important that I can get into the fields so just coming into the field here where I've been spreading there's quite a bit of a quite a bit of a bog down here the Hilux is coping well so if we just change over on here to L4 which is our four-wheel drive setting low the mighty Hilux soldiers on 
So I've gone into H4, which is four wheel drive. And as you guys can hopefully pick up on camera, it is coping a dream over these mud ruts where I've been with the tractor. And this is kind of the beauty really, being able to go onto the field when I'm doing some work, pull up to the tractor whilst I go and grab my lunch and then come back with the pickup truck, you know, to the tractor, which is gonna be absolutely lovely. And one great thing about this truck that it, is that it's got the five year warranty, the five year 100,000 mile warranty, which means if I was to buy it, I could keep it for a long time uh, before I'd have to change it again. And you know, these Toyotas, they're well made bits of kit. This is a solid rig. And something else as well, on the road, it drives a bit more like a car rather than a pickup truck, if that makes sense. So you've got the best of both worlds. It's a work vehicle and it's also a great car for going and doing the shopping, for doing the motorway miles, which I wanted, and also for putting the trailer on the back and moving machinery and tractors. That's very important. So we'll just go through some of these muddier ruts here, just with the Hilux, and it should be fine through here. Oh. <laughs> which it is. Lovely. And it has got Adblue this Hilux, so it's, it's, um, you know, better, it's better for the environment, it's got better emissions uh, than a non-Adblue car, which means it's you know, cleaner, a, a cleaner vehicle. Cleaner vehicle whilst we're off-roading, uh, combating these rats. So much grunt out of that 2.8 litre uh, turboed engine. Handling the rats a dream. And then we can just come back out onto the road <laughs> and head back on the road and, and go and do whatever it is we've got to do. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It is nice. I'm really glad I looked at the Toyota Hilux. It was either the Toyota Hilux or the Land Rover Defender. So I've got to make my decision at the end of today's video and on the road here, it's, it's smooth, it's chilled out, it's a nice drive. Great, back in the yard. Well, it was just a quick test drive there to see what the Toyota was like. I know it's not the same as owning a vehicle or a piece of equipment for you know a good couple of years to get an idea of it, but I just had enough there to understand how it drives around the farm and being able to take it off-road, driving on the muck-spreading fields where we were was absolutely brilliant because that's primarily what I want a pickup truck for. If I wasn't doing that, I wouldn't need an off-road vehicle, but because I am, I think it's fair to say I am going to really miss this truck because if I was to order one of these, I've got to wait until October this year. So leave a comment in the comment section down below is this something I should buy? Is this my next pickup truck? Or um, should I go for something else? Let me know um, because I really, really like this and you know, I think I could potentially put an order on it and, and, I, would, and I would order it in this spec and I could have the Ollie's Farm livery down the side um, which I think would be really cool. And remember, as I say to you guys, you know, um, work hard in life, uh, always stay positive, follow your dreams and you'll be amazed at what can happen. So I'm now gonna go and talk over some prices and some specs on this with uh, Joanne from Toyota, U Toyota Norwich UK. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Uh, leave a comment on, on what you think. Should we go for this or should we go for something else? Um, but I am, I am really keen on this. So thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one.